Hey, it's Sovereigning Student here, and today we're going to be talking about exceptions. So, exceptions is the errors of Java or programming in general, but let's just first of all create some, some basic code and force an exception, which means force an error. So, one of the basic exceptions is if we just create an array in the array, we're going to call it array equals a new in the array and we're going to allow it to contain two elements which means we've got an index 0 and an index 1 but now if we wanted to put a number inside our array on index 3 for example number 3 and try to run it we would get an exception as you can see we get an error exception in thread main java.lang and then we get the exact the specific exception we get an array or because it's array, and we get an index out of bounds exception, which means we are trying to access an insect index that doesn't exist. So, exception handling that's what we're going to be talking about. So, if you want to handle this exception, instead of because right now when, you, when we run the program, it will start from the top. First, we would create our array, then we would try to assign the value 3 to index 3, and the program would stop because we get an. an an exception. So for example, if we want to print something out down here, just simply print hello world, we would not print it because after our program hits the exception, it stops running. So what we can do to do this exception handling is we would first do a try and then the beginning of a code block and then the end of a block. So right now we're telling the program try do this. Then we're gonna it's gonna tell us we need some more. So if you just hold the mouse over this wiggly red line, you're able to add a but finally we would like to add a catch. So what the catch does is if we get an exception inside this block, execute this block. And right now what we're doing is simply just instead of Stopping the program and then printing a stack trace, which simply means like printing where in the program something went wrong. We would now try and then again print the stack trace like before, but then we would continue running. So the main point of exception handling is the ability to be able to get errors but still have the program running, which is very, very useful. If you just think about any application, like any modern application, if you had a small error. It's preferable that the program would pop up with a message saying, oh, error, try again, instead of just completely crashing. And that's actually what happened in the, in the old school Windows computers when you got a blue screen. It was simply the computer having too many errors and it just stopped. It's not exactly the same, but it's, it's kind of to get an understanding of it. But right now we're just saying if any exception at all, if any error at all happened, we would stop. But we would always prefer to be ex as exact as possible. So let's just change it instead of doing cast exception and then you've got the variable name for the exception. So we can do something with the exception. We would do, as you can see, it's actually an index out of bounds exception happening on an array. So we would just do index out of bounds exception instead. And then maybe instead of just printing the stack trace, we would just like to print a message, not like that, a message saying, well, Something went wrong. So now, when we run the, run the program, create an array, we try to put the number 3 on index 3, which isn't possible. So we catch this index out of bound exception and then we print. Well, something went wrong. And then the program continues and we do hello world. And this is particularly very useful when we start doing um, bigger applications on Active System with um, with a GUI, with the interface. We would prefer the program to continue running even if some error happened, and then we would be able to like fix the error instead of having everything just crash. So this is the basics of exceptions and exception handling with a try and a catch block. Hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next.